Hi guys and welcome to part 2 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On the last part we installed all the necessary tools needed to build the application. And on this part we are going to create our application using the Angular CLI and we are going to go through the application structure. To create a new Angular application we need to write ng-new and the name of the application. We are going to name it Book Notes. So we see that the project was created successfully. So let's navigate to the projects folder. For that, we just write CD and the name of the project. So CD book notes. Now to open this project on your IDE, simply press code dot and you will see that the visual code will run with the application inside. Before we continue further, let us remove all the files that we don't need in our application. So first we are going to remove all the git files by writing rd git s q and then we need to delete all the non-essential files for that i'm going to write and next i need to remove everything that's git related and the tests related as well you are going to see only the node modules folder and the source folder. Inside the node modules folder all the node packages are going to be placed. And inside here we have for example packages like Angular, ng-tools, types, etc. And inside the source folder you are going to see the application folder. And inside this folder we are going to put all our components, services, etc. Then we have the assets folder and the environments folder. And here inside the environment we are going to define if the environment is production or not. And by default it's development production, so we have here production is equal to false. And here we have the main.ts file. Main.ts file is the main entry point for our application. And it's used to bootstrap the root module of our application, which is the app module. If you go to the app module, and here you are going to see that this tells the Angular how to assemble the application. Right now it simply declares the app component. We are going to declare all the other components on this file. So if you go to the app component, and this is how a default component is declared. Along with the HTML template, we have the CSS style, and we have the selector as well. We are going to talk more in details on the upcoming parts, but I just wanted to give an overview of the application. And then down here we have the styles.css file and every CSS style that we are going to declare in this file can be used within our application. As you see in here we have two CSS files. The first CSS file is for each component we have a CSS file and the custom CSS that you write on this file is applied only to that component. So in this case the code that you write on app.component.css is used by the app.component.html and both of these are declared on the app.component.ts but as I already mentioned the CSS that you write on styles.css it's used by the whole application. Another important file in here is the package.json file and on this file are declared all the node packages that we are going to use throughout the application like for example the compiler, the core, the forms, we are going to use the forms. So now on the source folder right click and open the terminal go one step back and we are ready to serve our application to run our application we are going to execute the command ng serve and what ng serve does is that for every change that we make we don't need to go to the browser and refresh the browser because this command will refresh the browser automatically for every change so the command was executed successfully we need to open our browser and go to localhost 4200 and this is the default page that comes with Angular but we don't need that so let's go and remove it we go to the source app.component.html and we remove everything we save the changes and we see that the compiling starts if we go back to the browser we see that the changes were executed so this is all for this part thank you for watching and see you on the next one